Hi, I'm Natalie Wood. Do you ever watch crime investigation shows on TV and wonder what really goes on in a crime lab? Well, today we'll answer some of your questions as we tour the Boulder Police Department's crime lab with Sergeant Cooper Grimes. Sergeant Grimes, thanks for showing us around today. You're welcome, thanks for coming. So there's probably no such thing as a typical day here in the crime lab, but can you take us through what goes on here? Well, we do have a lot of typical days. It would be neat to say that everything's exciting every day here, but that's not to say that there's not plenty of work each day. We do have occasional crimes that are extremely severe and you don't have a typical day and you see some interesting things. But in the lab here, there's tons of uh, property that's processed and analyzed to try to further cases. What are the most common types of evidence you see here in the Boulder Crime Lab? Uh, some of the common evidence that we see is fingerprint evidence. That's one of the biggest things still. It's been around a long time and it often leads to suspects in cases. Uh, we also do DNA processing, uh, analyze blood spatter, uh, closed circuit television footage is valuable these days. As you know, there are closed circuit television cameras everywhere around the city, whether it be um, at uh, residences even or businesses. So when that evidence is brought in, such as fingerprints, what do the criminalists do in order to process it? Well, sometimes a fingerprint will come in, for instance, and we don't even know it's here yet. Say if we had a burglary scene where a suspect was believed to have left a pop can behind. An officer might bring that soda can here to the lab, where one of our criminalists would take the time to process that to see if there are any fingerprints on that can. They might dust it, they might uh, fume the can with super glue fumes, and if they locate a latent fingerprint, they would then uh, document that. They may photograph it, lift it, and place it on a card, and then comes the task of entering it into the automated fingerprint identification system and hoping that they can get a match to a suspect. Okay, and a lot of people watch crime investigation shows these days. Can you tell us if that's similar to what you do here in the lab? In some ways, it's extremely similar. In other ways, it's very far-fetched. Uh, a lot of the things that they do in their labs are similar to what we do, as I mentioned earlier, looking at closed circuit television footage, looking at DNA and, and trying to process that, uh, fingerprints as well. Now the thing that's unrealistic is on those shows, often they just take what they've found, place it into a computer, and within a matter of moments, they have a suspect up on a picture screen. That doesn't happen typically. Things often take uh, days or weeks at times to, to get done. Well, there's a lot of evidence that is processed here. How do you decide what goes on to the FBI or the Colorado Bureau of Investigation for testing? Now, our lab has a lot of functionality. We are able to do quite a bit here, which is extremely valuable. We're not able to do everything, being that we're a medium-sized department. Therefore, certain things, like you said, do need to go to the Colorado Bureau of Investigation or the Federal Bureau of Investigation. It really just depends on our capabilities. As I said, the majority we can take care of here. Take DNA, for instance. If we had a suspect in a robbery who touched somebody's coat, our criminalists have the ability to take a sample of that say by swabbing it with uh, some sterile swabs. They can then send that to a lab to be tested and to uh, try to obtain a DNA profile. However, we don't currently have those sorts of capabilities. So that's the sort of thing that we have to send out to an outside laboratory. I see. Well, Boulder is fortunate to have a crime lab in our very own town. What are the benefits of having a lab in Boulder? Uh, there, it's extremely beneficial. Being able to take care of the majority of evidence here saves us immensely on time in investigating cases and also on manpower. If we didn't have this lab here, we would have to send almost everything out to an outside laboratory, whether it be CBI, the FBI, or a private lab. That's costly at times. It also takes a lot of time and manpower to get those items transported there securely or to ship them there. Um, additionally, once they're there, their testing often takes longer, and so it can damage a case or hamper us in a case. When we have the ability to test something here, we can get an answer um, from that analysis relatively quickly, and the investigator can, can continue with their case. Well, it sounds like a very important and exciting job you have here. Thank you for taking the time to show us around today. Thank you. We've been speaking with Sergeant Cooper Grimes in the Boulder Police Department's Crime Lab. Stick around for more Inside Boulder after this.